Hello all and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this is Oracle Card Guidance for the year 2019. And the question we're asking here is, what do we need to know or what do we need to focus on for the year 2019? And so I'm going to uh, choose a card here um, for each of these uh, bottles. And you may go ahead and choose um, either uh, the number one, two, three, four and or five and um, you can go down to the description box below where you'll find the uh, timestamp and go directly to your reading and I'm going to channel a message for you for the year 2019 and for those of you who've chosen this one what is the advice that you need for this year what do you need to concentrate on what is your card this year and the card I have is family Okay, so with this situation, I'm hearing that um, family is going to be of importance for you in this year of 2019. And if you are wondering what it is about family, well, it applies to each of you differently. But largely, the areas that we're working on um, um, has two levels. And it's one where you'll be engaging with your family and working with them to overcome uh, difficulties of the past or you may be in a situation where you're recovering from something that's happened within your family and the concentration is going to be there and for those of you who are not in contact with your family or may have passed on or you simply don't have your family in your life maybe you live very far away from them or something like this then what I see and what I hear is that you're going to be ultimately working with the experiences that you've had in the past with your family and seeing how you have become who you are as a result of your perception of your family and your perception of their perception of you. The other thing I'm hearing here is that uh, for some of you, so, so yes, it's definitely on various levels here for different people because I have a whole range of issues, uh, or not issues rather, but a whole range of scenarios here which present themselves. And um, with with some of you, I feel that you'll be um, um, redefining property or you'll be deciding upon how property will be shared or you'll be working through difficulty with how property has been shared already. So those are the kind of things that you'll be working on there. The other thing I'm hearing here is that uh, for this year of 2019, it's important for your growth and your well-being and how you proceed in the future for you to actually forgive and to let go and to um, to recognize the value of your family, to recognize where they've done you well uh, as well as where they've done you wrong and to actually uh, be in love to feel the love that they have for you to feel the, the love uh, that they intended to you for you to actually understand what your relationship is with them uh, in terms of love and to recognize that things are not perfect and to forgive those things that are not perfect but rather to also understand that uh, especially with regard to parents is that most of them like 99% of the time 99% of them will do what they believe is in your best interest and if this is and for you they're asking that you recognize this and for those of you who who don't have that experience well they are asking you to forgive and to let go because those things that you hang on to for this year, those things that you work on and that you allow to impact you are going to be like chains around you. It's like you chained to a ball and you have to drag this around and you can't really go ahead and you can't really move fast or you can't really proceed with your life um, if you have this with you all the time. And you have the power to simply unclasp those those chains and just be able to to move ahead with your life you don't need to hold on to this anymore it is your choice to hold on to this for some of you i'm hearing that for with family there's going to be an abundance this year there's going to be an abundance there may be new family members entering your life um as in having they may be babies or maybe uh, a sibling is uh, getting married or maybe a child is getting married or or there's going to be a new boyfriend uh, coming into the family um, but your family is going to be expanding for some of you and I feel that um, there's also a, se a sense here that with some people that you may have uh, you may receive an inheritance 
from family that you didn't know that you had or you may be aware of family that you've had but you're not aware of hobbies that they've had where there is an inheritance that lies there for you and that's just like two or three people where I picked that up from and I'm feeling that some of these people will in fact watch this video much later on in the year before they uh, yeah and they may have already had this experience um the other thing I'm hearing is that it's important to understand the gift that your family is to you. It's important for you to understand that. And uh, there is a school of thought which believes that you choose your family. You come to your family and you've chosen your family and you've chosen your family to help you with your, um, with your way forward. And I'm not necessarily ascribing to that or suggesting that you ascribe to that view, but rather to understand that every interaction that you've had with your family has made you has contributed rather to who you are right now and that this is it's important to recognize that and to give thanks for that even if there have been painful experiences but to give thanks for that and if there have been painful experiences then to let them go to work through them and let them go because the pain serves you no longer but what serves you this year is to acknowledge your family and be in gratitude towards them for whatever they've done, even if they've done things that have really hurt you. And for those of you who have have really good relationships with your family and you're wondering, why am I going on about hurt and pain and all of that here? It's just that for some of you, I'm picking up a lot of pain uh, with regard to family. And um, that's like an overriding emotion that I have right now. It's just that there are some people here who will come to this reading, have chosen this one, um, who've really had some difficulties, some real severe difficulties, traumatic difficulties with their family. And the message I'm hearing for you here is that you really need to simply let go of that, simply forgive and let go. And that requires a grieving process that requires time to mend, to go through all of this. But um, just do that. Focus on that. that is, this is the year to do that. And uh, that is your guidance for this year of 2019. Okay, so I thank you for those of you who've chosen um, this year. And um, we're moving on now to those of you who've chosen this one here. So I'm asking here, what is the advice for those of you who've chosen this one here? What is the advice for you for 2019? What is it that you need to focus on? What is it that you need to be working on? What is it that you need to know for 2019? and 19. So the card we have here is health and immediately uh, I'm shown physical health. I'm not shown emotional health. I'm not shown, shown spiritual uh, well-being. But the very the overriding message here is that this is a year in which you will be uh, focused on changing uh, what you eat or your approach to food. So let me just start with changing uh, what you eat. So there's going to be more of a focus on your diet and what it is that you consume and the impact that it has on you. So you'll be more observant about how when you eat certain foods, uh, how you feel thereafter. You may be used to eating certain foods, which are your favorite foods, but you would recognize that thereafter you feel a bit drained or you just don't have enough energy. And you will be noticing and focusing a little bit more on that. I'm hearing also that you'll be that there's a focus on dehydration here. So you'll be working on keeping yourself hydrated there are underlying health not for all of you uh, there are underlining health concerns that need to be looked at they, they are still in the early stages and um, if you if you catch them on time you're going to be able to actually um, go ahead and you're not going to have any repercussions from from that so for those of you that message applies for those of you who have an inkling of that already you have your intuition's been speaking to you and saying your body's been speaking to you and you've been hearing and they've been saying listen you need to take care of this this and that and you're not really sure you don't really have the clarity of how you should go about doing that but you know that you need to be doing that. And that does not necessarily mean that you need to be changing your diet or uh, watching your diet closer. Uh, when I'm talking about dieting, I'm not talking about, uh, I'm talking about diet. I'm not talking about dieting, yeah? Please be clear. I'm not suggesting that any one of you need to uh, lose weight or put on weight or there's anything wrong with any of you here. What I'm saying is that um, the focus is going to be on health. The focus is going to be on your well-being. The focus is going to be on breathing. The focus is going to be on your toning of your muscles, looking after your body, ensuring that you do enough stretches. Also, um, 
ensuring that you eat foods that make you feel well, make you feel lighter, not heavier, and that you actually um, address any underlying health concerns that you already have. So the other thing that I'm hearing here with regard to this card is that um, there are a few of you, well, um, like a third of you, okay, here, who have been having health issues for many years already, and you have been struggling with certain health-related uh, issues in your life. And this is the year in which you put an end to that. This is a year in which you find the, the causes, in which you understand the reason, and that you seek the help that you need, and you be efficient about the way in which you go about seeking the help that you need, and you uh, look outside of the box uh, for that help that you need as well. And that you actually resolve this problem and all these problems that you've been experiencing and that health is something that improves during this year. So I'm really hearing that health is something that improves rather uh, because you focus on it, because you put the energy in to ensure that it improves. And for a very uh, few, for a very small amount of you, the emphasis here is on psychological health, it's on mental health, it's on ensuring that you are well um, in your in your mind, in your your body, in your spirit, and actually um, doing some work where you are healing and uh, clearing past issues uh, which are emotional and may um, impact um, on your psychological well being, as well as energetic uh, clearing of uh, of matters of the past where you'll be getting rid of things that uh, no longer belong to you, that don't uh, speak to you, that don't serve you. And yes, it's all of those things that are actually that are you, you're going to be focusing on here. But that is just, as I said, a small percentage of you. And for most of you, what I'm hearing here is you need to look out, you need to have caution, you need to apply caution when you eating and, and looking at the foods that you eat and understanding uh, how they make you feel. Um, that is for the majority of you in this in this who've chosen this um, number here. Um, I'm feeling that some of you would have chosen this and expected to hear something else and uh, you're disappointed or not really happy with this message. But what, uh, what I'm being told to say that um, if you get this uh, if you manage to um, to make this a success, or if you manage to actually, um, uh, yeah, do this right, yeah, if you if you do it right by by you, that you take care of your health and you take care of your diet and you you ensure that you are well every day of your life and you're consistent about doing this, then the other things will follow on from here. That the other uh, well well being will follow on from you, that there'll be celebrations around this, that abundance will flow in as a result of this. But this is a priority and this is what needs to be addressed at this moment. For those of you who have no issues in terms of your health and uh, you're feeling uh, all fine and dandy and you're wondering, what is it that you need to be doing here? Well, I want to say to you again, uh, be Con conscious of what you are eating, be conscious of the air that you're breathing, where you go to, how you feel when you are in different places and you're breathing different types of air. Uh, be aware of the purity of the water that you're drinking as well and recognize where it is that you can actually improve, uh, where it is that you could in fact help yourself. Also spread awareness to others about uh, well-being and health uh, and also um, the other message I'm getting for you is that um, for, because you think that you've uh, you are healthy, uh, don't don't think that you know others are doing something wrong, uh, and, and that's the reason they're not healthy. A lot of these factors uh, depend or apply to uh, to their genetic reasons or their uh, ancestral uh, energy um, that is uh, you know impacting one. And so just don't think that this is for you who are really healthy. And don't don't think that just because you are healthy. That you know, why don't they just get their act together? Why can't they just be healthy? You don't don't have that attitude towards perhaps elderly parents or friends who are having difficulties. Rather, uh, face them with compassion and help them to restore their health to them. Okay, so that is the message that I've heard for those of you who have uh, chosen uh, this this one here. For those of you who've chosen this here. Um, in case you wanted to get a good look at that. Okay, so the question we're asking here is, what is your advice for the year 2019? What is it that you need to hear for the year 2019? Okay. 
What is it that you need to focus on in the year 2019? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have the card travel. And so the first thing that comes to me here, well, a, a lot of card, a lot of um, information came to me all at once here. And it applies, it seems that it applies to three types of, of situations here. One where you'll be traveling within, one where it's time for you to take yourself to new shores within yourself. So this is a part of you which is uh, really going to be exploring um, aspects of yourself that you thought did not exist. Yeah. Um, for some of you, you may be doing a water painting or watercolor paintings. Um, and for some of you, it may be that you have left behind a hobby at which you, which you decide to... Um, to introduce, reintroduce into your life, and you, um, and that's the travel that you'll be going. You'll be going inward. You'll be going into in depth. You'll be going through a porthole, uh, through a porthole of something that sucks you into it, that takes you into another world within yourself, and you won't be moving in order to do this. For some others of you, I feel that you'll be traveling. You'll be traveling, you'll be moving. There, there are definitely a bunch of you who've chosen this one that are going to be moving house. You're going to be uh, moving countries. You're going to be moving to a different state. You're going to be moving um, to a different home. And uh, this is an important year for you to be to do this. this is, it's fortuitous for you to travel this year. It's fortuitous for you to travel um, for just for pleasure. It's fortuitous for you to move this year. If you're wondering, well, shall I sell my house this year and shall I move into another place? The answer for you is yes. You shall move this year, and it will be good for you to move. The other thing I'm hearing here is for, um, is the, oh yes, the, the third thing I heard here was that. Um, the some of you are going to be traveling for work like quite extensively you're going to be traveling for work quite extensively and you're going to be you must make the most of this it won't be for long it will be perhaps for a year a year and a half um, it could be for longer but you really should make the most of this and you should bring balance within your life as you do this so really take time to ensure that you recover after each trip really take time to take breaks within the trips that you do and um, but definitely travel is going to be a huge um, uh, a huge um, for about you know 40 percent of you travel is going to be something that's going to be a, a factor in your lives at 2019 you're going to be moving to lots of places you're going to be visiting lots of new places and for some of you you're actually going to be moving house uh you're going to be moving your home and for others of you you're going to be taking this opportunity to travel within and go into yourself like there's also astral travel i'm hearing astral travel for some of you uh, for others of you, I'm seeing you working with watercolors and you painting. And uh, the others, I, I'm seeing you actually uh, doing something like with your hands, like something similar to pottery, something where you, you're molding something. And you and this takes you into another dimension. It takes you into another world. And you, you kind of experience things about yourself that you experienced when you were very young. And, and you, you understand a childlike quality about yourself, which has been dormant, which has been resting. And so... the. And I think that applies also for those of you who travel outwardly, that travel travel from one place to the other. You will be experiencing an excitement within you which has been foreign to you, which you haven't heard or felt for a very long time. And this is going to activate something in you. And I think for uh, for some of you here, you'll be working very hard. You'll be actually, like for those of you who are traveling for work, you'll be it's going to be quite intense. You're going to be working quite a lot. And, and as I mentioned earlier, the focus for you is to recuperate after each of these trips or during that time to take time off but what I'm hearing here is for those of you who move house it's not going to be easy yeah? it's going to be something that you actually it requires quite a lot of work to be settled in it requires it will be a long time before you feel that you'll be settled in but don't let that put you off you know just go ahead and do it anyway because the universe has been asking you to do this for some time already and you're quite aware of that that you need to do this you need to move you need to leave where for those of you who need to move you need to leave that place behind Okay, it's not being there. It's not fortuitous for you anymore. Moving on is fortuitous for you. So that is the message for those of you who've chosen this one here. Okay, um, so we're moving on to the next one, and that is uh, this one here. So the question we're asking is, what is the message for those people who've chosen this bottle here today? What is the message for them? Uh, what is the message for them for two thousand nineteen? 
message for those of you who have chosen this for 2019. Who they need to hear. Who they need to hear. Paradise. Here, what I'm hearing is that you have already the paradise that you seek. You have the paradise that you seek, and it's important for you for this year to be able to create paradise where you are. To be able to make your home wherever wherever you're living at this moment, wherever you spend the most amount of time, you know, if it's if you spend the most amount of time on a train because you need to travel for work or uh, at airports or because you know you you spend a lot of time on the road, uh, make it your paradise. They are saying to you that you need to be able to make make wherever you live, wherever you spend the most amount of time, perhaps it's in an office, perhaps it's on the road, perhaps it's at your home, make it your paradise. And what I'm hearing here is that you've been seeking this paradise and but but you don't need to seek it's not outside of you. It's not a place that you need to change to go to. You don't need to change your place. You just need to create that where you are right now. Because what they're saying to me is that when you, you, you're thinking that the grass is green on the other side and that you're going to go somewhere else. But when you go there, what's going to happen is that you're not going to find it to be any better than where you are right now. And if you can create this paradise in your own space, in your own home, um, around you, and you recognize that that is something that you create and that it's something that comes out of you, then you'll be free to be able to create that anywhere else as well. But if you're not able to do it right now in your own home or where you are, then you aren't going to be able to create it with as much ease in another space. So do not seek uh, outside of you for this paradise. Seek within. And I'm not asking you to go on a meditation to seek this paradise. I'm actually... What I'm hearing here, although that may actually serve some of you, but what I'm hearing here is make little things, um, do make some little changes at home that don't cost you that much, that actually make your your life uh, feel like it's paradise. You know, um, I'm getting loads of examples here, but uh, I'll just men mention some of them to you, and perhaps they resonate with you. But one of the examples I'm getting is like I'm seeing somebody. It's a woman. I'm seeing her with with a, a foot bath. You know, and that she creates this foot bath with some petals or some herbs in it whenever she feels tired or that she seeks paradise. Another another scenario that I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a man who lives on his own um, in an apartment and I'm seeing him surrounding himself with greenery, like lots of pot plants and lots of plants in the apartment. Um, the other thing I was seeing here, the person who travels a lot, uh, get yourself a good pair of headphones, get, invest in a good pair of headphones so that when you are traveling, you can actually shut out the world around you and you can actually just be in your world where you listen to your music and you are uh, content with that because you need to find that your paradise within yourself because wherever you are, there are lots of people around you and you, you don't really have a chance to experience this. It's just like you on a mad rush going from place to place and you don't actually experience this paradise so it's not about taking a vacation going off uh, to some summery place where there are beaches to be able to experience this but rather to be able to create this within yourself and within your own world whether you listen to music and a good quality headphones so that you can actually shut out the rest of the world and can actually experience what it is that you desire you know uh, or whether you simply Create something at home, you know, maybe upgrade your curtains or add some some pretty ribbons or something like this. It's not they're not asking you to spend money. What they're saying is that you don't need to spend a lot of money to make yourself happy. So give yourself this feeling of luxuriousness or this feeling of paradise that you are seeking. OK, every one of you will have a different feeling for what they are seeking. But this is something that you need to be able to create yourself. And it doesn't take a lot. OK, it's not something that's going to um, be expensive for you. It's not something going, that's going to be uh, difficult for you to pay for or something like this. So that is the message that I'm receiving for those of you who've chosen this card here. Um, the other uh, message I'm receiving here is that somebody who's chosen this card here is actually quite unwell and not really doing so good in, in at the moment. And you're wishing that you were no longer in this world. You're wishing that you 
uh, could no longer be here because you can't stand the pain anymore. You can't stand the physical pain anymore. And th there seems to be not really a hope or you've given up hope. Or maybe the, the, the medical team that you have has um, told you that there is no hope. Um, and what I'm hearing here is that you're seeking this paradise. You're seeking to release yourself from this place and to be in um, the next world where you, deem, where you feel that there would be paradise. And what I'm hearing for you is that the, the feeling in which you actually have as you leave this planet or as you leave this body that you've that you are in right now will be the feeling that you'll take into your next life so actually or, or your next being your next form it's not yeah your your as you would continue life as your soul continues life you take that feeling with you so try to um maintain a um a, a positive uh, outlook and one of the ways to maintain a positive outlook in your circumstance your very specific circumstances is to be um to not to not be bitter, to not be resentful, to actually focus on just just to accept the situation that you're in right now. Not to say that you should accept that and not try to make yourself better, but to accept that the way you feel right now, there's not much that can be done to change it and that you have done a lot already and that people around you have supported you and actually done a lot for you and uh, your, your medical team, etc. And that perhaps accepting this, um, you don't have to like it, but just accepting it is something that is one step further to your to your version of paradise. So that was a very, very specific message for, I think, one person who has chosen uh, this option here. And much wellness to you. Um, and so we're moving on. Um, for those of you who've chosen uh, this one here. Okay. Um, we're asking, what is your advice for the year 2019? What is your focus for this year? And where is it that you need to put your attention? Where is it that you need to shine your spotlight for 2019? What is relevant for you for 2019? Ah, oh, there we are. Reunions. Okay, for, so for some of you who've chosen this one here, you will have reunions in this in this part in this year. So this is actually the first image I got to I've come that's come to me is that uh, there's a couple uh, that have been fighting and they come together. There's a couple that's been fighting and they come together. They wear apart for a while and they come together. So you can focus. You can actually um, look forward to reuniting with somebody that you've had a fallout with during this year. And I feel for many of you this applies and to love. The other uh, scenario that I'm seeing here is that you may be reuniting with people that you've pushed away from your life. So for instance, if you've decided that you didn't want to interact on social media, or you, um, you didn't want to be part of social media, you don't want to contact people that you haven't, um, that you just took a break from people in general, you would find that you will reunite with people, you will reconnect with people a lot during this year. And this is a year where you will be reconnecting with people of all walks of life, you know, that you've met in, in your past and you've actually um, wanting the people that you've interacted with previously, you will be reuniting with them again. And um, especially for those of you who've taken a step away from social media for some time, you'll be getting back into it, uh, or not necessarily getting back into it, but you will definitely be reconnecting with people who've meant something to you in your past. The other thing I'm hearing here is that, um, yeah, I'm getting back to love. It's very much about love. This card is very much about old lovers reuniting, old lovers coming together, old lovers who thought they didn't have a chance to be together, actually coming together and actually making it a year that they remember the year of 2019 will be remembered for the year that they came together finally and that you actually yeah you came together finally with the one that you loved and that it was meant to be and that it had to be in this year and you needed to wait until 2019 so for some of you this you know you've been waiting for this for years already and it hasn't happened but you you will remember this year as the year that it happened and the year that it, it you needed to wait until this point to have it happen I'm just going to see if there's anything else I feel here um, for you. Okay, so for some of you, 
you you will be um, people that you may have fallen out of with uh, because you've had an argument with them or you've been upset with them or you know you've just had a disagreement with them. You will also be putting um, behind you that disagreement. You'll be putting behind you that uh, discord and actually moving on from it and not really reuniting with them but you would have put it behind you uh, at this point and it's no longer relevant in your life it's no wrong, longer a part of your life it's actually something that you can really put behind you and move on from and uh, you don't need to hold a grudge uh, against that person that person doesn't need to hold a grudge uh, over you then and that you know um, that it's it's just uh, yeah it's just behind you it's no longer a uh, something that's troubling you it's no longer something that's um, eating away at you or being a problem in your life it's something that you've just been able to put behind you and I feel that for some of you this may be in a work situation um, it may be in a work situation where you've just been upset and, and your your boss or your um, employer has been rather abrupt with you and it's something that you're able to put behind you the other situation in which I hear this is it could be something where um, in one particular situation that I'm picking up here, although I feel this applies to maybe two to three people, um, there's somebody who's actually going to be um, re having a reunion with themselves because you've actually had a situation where you've been in love with somebody and you've been moving away from yourself and that relationship hasn't worked out. So you actually are then moving back towards yourself and the reunion you have in here is with yourself. And it's also because you've come to, peace into terms of the other person and the hurt that they've caused you and the difficulties that you've had with them because they would not commit or they weren't committing in the way that they said they would is actually something that you come to terms with and you'll accept and you'll move on from them and in a way it feels like a reunion because you're not just you're reuniting with yourself but you're coming to peace with them and um the reunion it's like peace between you again even though you the relationship's over and you've chosen to move in different directions and so this is actually a feeling of peace and and of freedom and being able to let go uh finally so that is your reading for those of you who've chosen uh this one here and i apologize for the background sounds that is uh new year's eve and oh it's not new year's eve but it's uh, almost new year's eve and People are bursting fireworks around me and I just couldn't find a time to shoot this outside of this time here. So, um, yes, uh, thank you all for coming by and watching this uh, video. And I hope this message has helped you in some way and not freaked you out in any way. And I also hope that, um, yeah, I wish you a very, very happy 2019 and may you have a wonderful year ahead. And may you have um, all that you wish for. And may you also have good health. May you be safe and protected. And may you have all the happiness that you crave for. So sending you so much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.